dementia and vitamin D. Supposedly, researchers had confirmed the link of being low in vitamin D and developing dementia or Alzheimer's. This was published in the journal online this August 2014. And this is what they did, and this is how they did it. The researchers followed 1,658 healthy seniors, or I should say relatively healthy seniors, that were 65 years and older and followed them for six years. We're just talking six years. And keep this in mind. And these individuals had no Alzheimer's, no dementia, no cognitive dysfunction, as well as no cardiovascular disease, so on and so forth. The ones they found that had below normal levels of vitamin D, when the ones which we would consider moderately deficient, they discovered had a 53% increased risk in just six years of developing dementia. 69% increased risk of developing Alzheimer's. We're just talking six years. All right, it's so like between 65 and the age of 71. Those which are severely deficient in basically vitamin D. We're talking what's called 12.5 nanomoles per liter of blood, a little bit of a technical term, but we mean low. We're talking like vampire low. They had a 125% increased risk of developing dementia after six years, and or 122% increased risk of developing Alzheimer's. Again, these were relatively healthy people six years prior. All right, and the researchers also discovered this. They found out the best range for vitamin D in good brain health. Now, this is always going to be debatable because a lot of people are going to want to recommend much higher vitamin D levels in the blood. And this is technical terms for talking serum vitamin D levels in the blood. 50 nanomoles per liter, they say, was the best range in their terms for good brain health. Now, normal range according to the National Institute of Health, so if you go to get a blood test and the doctor just says, oh, you're normal, but they don't tell you how many nanomoles per liter of blood you have. They just say you're normal, like a lot of them do, or give you any numbers, can be deceiving. Because normal can be considered anywhere between 30 and 70. So if you pay to get a blood test to determine what your vitamin D levels of status is, make sure they give you the numbers. Otherwise, if you have individuals around you which you're concerned about developing dementia or Alzheimer's, it doesn't have to be an inevitability. Just basically at least take simple, modest steps to reduce your risk of developing these two horrendous ailments to come down with. Again, vitamin D, 15 animals per liter of blood, true for that target or higher. Thank you once again.